Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this video we will discuss CD4051 it is CMOS 8 channel analog multiplexer demultiplexer how this IC is working we will discuss in detail first of all we will see what is the multiplexer and demultiplexer because this IC can do the both jobs multiplexer that is the function when we have many inputs we have many channels we have we receive many inputs and our device can select any one out input and provides to the single output and this output will proceed to any other component any other microcontroller computer any device for further function in very simple way multiplexer is a device which can select any one input from many inputs and it will prov provide two single outputs of that configuration and if we say demultiplexer so demultiplexer have a opposite function it can distribute a single signal to the selected channel that are outputs here we in multiplexer we select one input from any of the channel from many inputs and we provide to that channel if we select this slider to this point so we will pick this signal and we will receive here if we select this channel this selector will shift this slider in that time we will take this signal but here the signal will distribute it it, it may be any digital analog any signal and just we have to select the output point at which channel at which output we have to distribute we have to deliver this signal so it is DMUX function distribution of a signal from single input to any one of the output channel in multiplexing we receive signal in demultiplexing we transmit signals to any one of the channel friends if you have not subscribed my channel I will request Please subscribe it and if the video is good for you hit the like button let's start let's start and we will check its function by applying different logic addresses because this IC receives logic addresses that are control line and it have eight channels it will connect which channel we want to connect to the output side like here this time I selected 000 so three inputs are zero and output is channel zero now channel one four volt if I will select channel number two it will give 4.6 volt how this is working and how it is useful channel number three channel number seven channel number five if we see its equivalent diagram these are different channels if you remember a rotary switch this IC works as a rotary switch it connects any signal to the output when we select some addresses from here normally it is used with microcontrollers with different PLCs to select some channels to make measurement or to drive something when we load this signal to any channel so that means that is demultiplexing we are riding some signal to any channel and when we read back some signal we select channel and we read back information from that channel it is called multiplexing when we are using some microcontroller some programmable logic control and we command to read some pins for example we have one two three four five six seven eight eight pins and we want to read the data on these pins what is the voltage level either it is ADC analog to digital converter whatsoever so we select a channel we cannot use a rotary switch with microcontroller we can say it is a digitally controlled rotary switch this switch is moving its slider depending on the address so address is octal code because it have three pins one two three these are the channel select pins from the microcontroller when it will select 
a0 b0 c0 like it is mentioned in the truth table inhibit pin that is control pin that is mentioned here if inhibit pin is connected to ground at that time it will connect to measure the output the measure the pin if it is high at that time it will open the channel it will open the common pin from the slider it does not have any uh, physical slider but it works as a rotary switch as a slider when we discuss 4051 inhibit pin 0 channel a0 channel b0 c0 that is equal to decimal address 0 so it is channel number 0 so channel number 0 will loaded at the output pin we have different pins pin 1 that is io channel that is io channel 4 pin number 2 that is 6 number channel pin 4 that is 7 number channel pin 5 that is 5 number channel here we have 0 1 2 3 and these are the select addresses here for the test purpose I connected 330 home resistors from positive to pin number 15 then to pin number 14 then to pin number 13 then to pin number 12 like it is shown here I made a voltage divider network I connected it between the positive 5 volt and I connected resistor and I applied voltage to the different channels I mentioned the channel number channel 2 channel 1 channel 0 channel 3 4 6 7 5 or you can connect with a sequence connect a resistor to first pin number 13 that is channel number 0 because pin number 13 channel 0 and the next pin number 14 that is channel number 1 then you can connect 2 3 but to make a simple circuit I applied a different voltage level at these pins for example our first pin that is channel number 2 pin number 15 that will approximately 4.6 volt pin number 14 channel number 1 these are the pin numbers and this is the channel number it will 4 volt 3.5 volt so 0 when we say 0 that means channel 0 if we want to read the output from channel 0 that is pin number 13 we will select 0 0 0 at 3 pins pin number 8 9 and 10 if these 3 pins are logic level 0 0 0 that means pin number 13 will connect it to the output pin number 3 is IO in out common out common in now we are reading the voltage from these pins because we applied voltage to these pins and we will select one by one these pins and we will take the voltage at pin number 3 first we will check the voltage level at different pins for example pin number 15 pin number 15 is 4.6 volt after the first resistor then we have 14 that is 4 volt channel number 1 then we have 13 that is 3.5 volt channel number 0 then 2.9 that is channel 3 and channel 3 is at pin number 12 in this sequence for testing purpose we must consider the channel names channel 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we will correlate the pin numbers with the channels because in truth table we are not considering the pin numbers we are considering the channel name which channel will connect it to the output pin number one that is channel number four it have 2.4 volt pin number two that is channel number six it have 1.8 volt as I mentioned here then channel number seven have 1.3 volt 1.3 volt and the last channel that is 761 millivolt 0.7 volt which I mentioned here I have this logic pattern switch this time A B C 10 9 8 3 pins are 0 level so at that time according to this truth table channel 0 will be connected to the output where is the channel 0 
channel 0 is pin number 13 so we will receive 3.5 volt at pin number 3 as per logic address when the a b c are 0 channel number 1 will be selected we applied a voltage level of 3.5 volt to pin number 13 channel 0 is pin number 13 13 14 15 so we have 3.5 volt and the same 3.5 volt will available at pin number 3 so pin number 3 will connect it to the microcontroller when the microcontroller will set, send command that read voltage from pin number 13 or channel channel 0 so it will uh, give a command 0 0 0 volt to 3 pins at that time it will select the voltage which are present at that pin this time we have 3.5 volt with this voltage divider here 3.5 volt so we are receiving 3.5 volt at pin number 3 that is here 3.5 volt so if we select 1 now 9 eight zero nine zero pin number ten that is four volt so zero zero one as per truth table zero zero one that means channel one will load it to output pin where is the channel one channel one is pin number fourteen so pin number fourteen have four volt so pin number fourteen have four volts the same four volts will reach at pin number 3 now we will change that logic levels this time 0 0 1 I will select the channel number 2 0 1 0 this binary is equal to decimal number 2 so we selected the channel number 2 channel number 2 have 4.6 volts so we have 4.6 volt at output pin 0 1 0 channel 2 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 2.9 volt channel number 3 it is 2.9 volt now we are reading the voltage from pin number 12 4 4 is 1 0 0 1 0 0 we are reading 2.4 volt so channel 4 is 2.4 volts because our this voltage divider is giving 2.4 volt here because 330 ohm resistor I connected on each node 100 0, 0, channel number 4 101 it is 761 millivolt it is channel number 5 4 plus 1 5 physically how this code is working here 5 volt we consider it it is 1 then 0 B is 0 it is 682 millivolt that is considered as 0 and C that is 4.2 volt 1 0 1 it is equal to 5 so 5 that means channel number 5 will be connected to the output pin what is the voltage level at that pin we will receive at the output pin 101 here when the microcontroller will generate code 101 4 plus 1 5 so channel number 5 will be connected to the out input pin of the microcontroller then number 6 for 6 the binary is 4 to 0 we have 1.8 volt to read 1.8 volt we selected channel number 6 so channel 6 have 1.8 volt so channel 6 is pin number 2 now pin number 2 is connected to pin number 3 when we select this pin now I connect 1 1 1 so in that case channel number 7 will connect it to the pin number 3 where is the channel number 7 channel number 7 is 4 so the voltage present at pin number 4 will connect it to pin number 3 we have 1.3 volts now for example 
This time, microcontroller wants to verify the voltage at channel number 3. This time it is measuring channel number 7, 1.3 volt. If, you, if the processor or microcontroller requires to read the voltage from channel number 3, so channel number 3 have code 1 1. So I change the code 1 1. This bit is 0. So we received 2.9 volt. So this one, this one is 2.9. Now if the processor want to read the voltage from channel number 5, where is the channel number 5? That is here. So channel number 5, 101. 101. 101. This is high, low, high. 0.7 volt. 0.7 volt here. In this method, multiplexing, we read back the voltage from the pins. It is reading back the voltage from these pins. This time, we are giving input because we connected the voltage divider network to the pins, and we are reading back the voltage. We are making jumpers between the common pin that is pin number 3 pin number 3 with different pins channel 0 1 2 3 4 5 7 these are 8 channels 8 to 1 multiplexer we can use this function to different projects we can say we can generate a voltage control oscillator we can generate different voltage level where we need to provide some reference we can use this IC this IC is widely used in digital electronics, especially when we use in automation, when we use in multiplexing and demultiplexing, A to D converter and D to A converter. For example, the processor want to measure voltage from different points. We cannot connect microcontroller to all pins. We have because microcontroller have a limited pins. You can say it is 16 pin. So we cannot connect 16 pins directly to the microcontroller at that time just only using three address lines these control lines and one reading pin that is this pin number three we can connect to the microcontroller and microcontroller easily can read back these channels so we can integrate for signal gating for factory automation from TV sets in appliances in audio circuits it is also used and programmable logic circuits and sensors with sensors we can use it when the system needs to read back some information from any channel from any pin just only changing the code here this IC will shift pin 3 with pin 15 3 with 14 3 with 13 3 with 12, 3 with 1, 3 with 6, 3 with 7, 3 with 5, 3 with 4, 3 with 5. Anytime we need to disconnect the signal, just only this inhibit pin will pulled up. So this IC will stop its function. Friends, I hope so this video is informative. If it is informative, hit the like button. If you have any question, kindly let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته